I guess because growing up with a mom and a dad, straight relationship, I always thought that if I'm gay that would be wrong because a man and a woman have to get married and that would be the normal thing. And then I thought, okay, then I guess I'm just bi and because I'm going to grow up and I'm going to marry a woman, I'm going to have kids. The way the perfect family is projected as a man and a woman and their little children, the white picket fence, that whole deal. That's just the way it seemed like it should have happened. That's not the way life has to be. Um, and whoever is stuck in that ideal, it's just, it's really not right because it's better to be who you are. If you feel like you can't have kids because uh, you love someone who's the same sex as you, it's not really that way at all. And there's always alternatives and you don't have to let that limit yourself. They sometimes say that you don't know. How can you know? Or it's just a phase. And you see a lot of that on TV too, like it's just a phase. But in this case, even if you think it might be a mistake for them, if it's what your kid really wants right then, and if it's not really going to harm them in a really, really bad way, like to an extent of death or anything, then you should let them be themselves or whoever at least they think they are until they find themselves and then they're comfortable with themselves. It may seem like a lot now, but when you're older you'll realize just how stupid you may have, you may feel letting it get to you because no matter what other people say, you you can't change that necessarily, so you shouldn't let it really affect your self-esteem. Overall, you are a beautiful person and you shouldn't let what other people say change that or stop you from feeling that because it's so easy to take your life and even though it's a lot harder to maybe live your life and accept who you are going to be, it's so worth it.